You know, growing up I played all kinds of instruments and they never quite fit. You know, I took a lot of piano lessons and violin and clarinet and I always just kept coming back to the guitar. It comes so naturally to me and I think that definitely has to do with the fact that my dad was a guitar player and there were always guitars around, but it's hard for me to write if it's not on the guitar. Like if someone's playing a progression on the piano, I always have to sort of like figure out what chords they're playing and hear it on the guitar in order for me to write uh, the rest of the song. It's just sort of like my home. <laughs> This night's a chatter hided All the pain deep down inside me You can see me like it's your diet Hopeless abandoned, I'll never try And all of these memories that we have made is about wanting to mask your vulnerabilities and yeah maybe appear tougher than you really are. <laughs> I sort of write about what's going on in my life and I would say that I'm not necessarily trying to hide anything it's just like I, I normally just write about what I'm feeling at, at any given moment. I think that being on stage versus a relationship is um, there are different kinds of vulnerabilities, and I have to say I do feel quite comfortable <laughs> on stage. In general, in life, I'm socially awkward, but I find comfort on stage performing my music. <laughs> when I was writing, I was writing like three to five songs a day, so I write very quickly. <laughs> I'm definitely a quality over quantity person. I think that I do write a lot, I write very quickly, but that doesn't mean that every idea that I have is fantastic. I think it's a good exercise in honing your skill and sort of just doing it over and over again, and then eventually you improve, but I don't think that it's sustainable. <laughs> it's important to get ideas out and then um, sort of like listen over to the ideas and see what works and what doesn't. And I do keep notes in my phone, like if I'm out coffee or whatever, I think of like little lyrics and I'll write it down or in a conversation, you know, like a dialogue that has made an impression on me, I'll just write it down 
uh, that sentence and then eventually I can turn it into a song. My songwriting started from uh, writing poems and so I think that reading a lot of poetry and writing a lot of poems sort of helped me to determine like what thoughts and ideas or pieces of dialogue I could then turn into a lyric. Um, yeah. I heard that you've been hanging around Singing your song all over town And you haven't called Seems like you've been doing well Even without me, even without me don't you know I'm around? Shut Don't keep me waiting. Keep me waiting. Cause I'll keep waiting. The change of seasons meant everything and I don't even notice anymore I can't stop thinking of the last time You whispered in my ear This was my greatest fear happy though. <laughs> Whenever I perform I always make the joke like I write heartbreak songs or breakup songs and Keep Me Waiting is about missing someone. Yeah that's what it's about. <laughs> I wrote it um, when I moved back to LA and I was missing my love at the time. <laughs> Sometimes people know when songs are about them but I usually deny it. <laughs> Even though it's a little bit obvious a lot of the time, <laughs> too obvious. So love and heartbreak is where I find a lot of my inspiration, though I will say that this year after writing and writing and writing, <laughs> I sort of wanted to venture out of just writing about relationships. But yes, up until now, a lot of my, uh, my inspiration has been based on love <laughs> and heartache. I've really only ever played it solo, only because I feel like it's so personal and it's sort of like the intimacy of an acoustic performance serves it. I recorded this song in my friend's shed. I just brought him this song and he was like, oh, that's really good, I like that. So he recorded it for me and then, yeah, put it out. I always say that finding a guitar is like finding a wand in Harry Potter because it just like chooses you. <laughs> but I, I mean, you know, I've tried so many guitars and yeah, I don't know, there's just so many, <laughs> there's so many factors that go into finding the right guitar for you and you know, the style and sound and feel and um, yeah, it took, it took a while, but I feel like I found, <laughs> I found it. <laughs>